top of that, another cool thing that we actually have the ability of doing is setting up default mail apps or default web browsers. Now, some of you may already have forgotten that we have the ability of doing this, but for example, if we go ahead and use the Chrome application, so if we go ahead and download it, it's very easy to download, it's not really too big. Essentially, we have the ability of setting up a default web browser or a default mail app. So let's say we had Chrome fully downloaded. Like I said, it may take a second or two. Well, once we have it fully downloaded, what we can do is we can go ahead and make our way over to our settings application and choose a specific app, and we can go ahead and set this as our default browser. So here, let's go and see if it's enabled. So we can make our way over to settings. We can scroll down until we find Chrome. So I don't know if it's already going to be here or not. As you can see, it's not here yet. So we'll just have to wait until it's fully downloaded. So once it's fully downloaded, we can go and open it up. I can go and accept and continue. Once we go ahead and have the web browser fully set up, all we have to do here is hop out of here. We can go and make our way over to our settings application, like I mentioned. Scroll down, you can see Chrome right here. And there's a little default option where it says default browser app. We can go ahead and click on this and we can go and specify whether we want to keep it as Safari or we want to change it to Chrome. So we have the ability of doing this, I think, since iOS 14, but now we have the ability now with the iOS 16 to also do this too, which is so cool.